One neat thing with a lot of reservists is that there's many, many reservists have already done 3D printing in their industrial jobs. Uh, so they've, they've got a, uh, that, that uh, technical background that can help really accelerate the implementation of, of additive manufacturing. Surge Main is a perfect example of that because you've got a highly technical workforce of reservists that uh, quickly can, can understand what additive manufacturing is. It, within a, you know, a very short brief, they understand some of its limitations and uh, very quickly can be used to go shipboard and help facilitate those conversations with ship's force. This you know, spanner wrench is a good example. Conversation occurred, uh, utilized the uh, civilian workforce we had that brought 3D scanners with them, uh, scanned up the part, uh, printed it within a few hours. As reservists, we bring a unique perspective, I think, and, and skill set to the force in that we, we do have day jobs. A lot of times those civilian skill sets are very valuable to the Navy. They can be newer technologies or newer processes that may not be fully implemented throughout the active side yet. The civilian skill sets database is, is a way that the reserve forces kind of crack the code on how do we know what our collective knowledge is and deploy the actual resources to, to where they can deliver the most value.